Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, first session of this course wastewater treatment and recycling. I am Dr. Manoj Kumar Tiwari at uh, work at School of Water Resources and I will be guiding you through the content of this course over a period of 12 week. The course is uh, titled as wastewater treatment and recycling and in this first session we will sort of have an introduction of this course itself and then from the subsequent sessions uh, from lecture 2 onwards we will talk about the specific uh, content or the points or topics to be discussed in this course. To start with let us first talk about the title of the course itself. So, the title of course is wastewater treatment and recycling. So, there are three terms there is wastewater, there is treatment and recycling. So, let us first see what is wastewater. Now, if we go the traditional uh, literature like our Oxford dictionary suggest that the water that has been used in the home or in the business or as a part of industrial process is typically called wastewater. The dictionary.com has a similar definition which says that water that has been used in washing, flushing, manufacturing purposes, etc., is wastewater. So, essentially, the point is that the water which has been used once or utilized once for any sort of purpose, okay, uh, we consume water in our uh, households for the purpose of cooking, drinking, bathing, cleaning. So, for all these different purposes of water we use. So, we open the let us say tap, get the fresh water, wash our cloths in that and then the water we put through or the water which uh, in which we have washing our cloths, we drain it through the uh, our drainage system connecting to a sewerage system or disposal anywhere in the open. So, the water which has been used for the washing purpose becomes wastewater as it is flowing in the drain. Similarly, in our kitchen we generate lost lot of wastewater, okay. we uh, cook food. So, in the process basically washing vegetables, washing the uh, various other things and in the very uh, cooking process itself. So, whatsoever water is generating out of the uses in the kitchen is actually uh, a kitchen wastewater that way. The wastewater which is generated out of the clothes washing activities or laundry activities is laundry wastewater. Okay. The water which is generating when we are taking the bath or taking the shower and uh, doing the whatsoever processes uh, cleaning and all that through the bathroom and all uh, these things. So, that is your uh, bathroom wastewater in a way. So, there are different type of uses and whenever we consume water in some sort we generate the wastewater. It is not limited to household only, the wastewater comes from various other sources, there are industries which utilize water for their, their various industrial processes. Let us say you take example of textile industry. So, in the process of textile manufacturing, they need water at various stages. They add lot of chemicals in that, they add lot of uh, additives in the water in the process and when their process is complete. So, let us say washing or whatsoever process they are utilizing it for, the water which is generated is wastewater. It could be generated from business areas as well in the institutions uh, we are using water say in a laboratory. Okay. So, uh, for the purpose of uh, cleaning the glasswares or uh, some any sort of laboratory processes. So, there we are generating wastewater. So, it can be generated from any sort of uh, business areas, homes, industrial processes and the water which we have consumed is eventually comes out in our drainage system or sewerage system and is referred typically as wastewater. So, the wastewater if we see 
essentially is majority of the content of waste water is actually water. So, there is a big question that uh, often arises that waste water should be considered as a burden or as a resource. Burden many like it is burden for many people or in many sense because it contains pollution and it cannot be used directly for most of the practical purposes. So, since something which is unusable which cannot be used like nobody would like to take water from the drain and uh, put it in their shower or use it in their kitchen or use it for laundry purpose. So, the water which has been used generally people do not prefer to use that water. Okay. It can be used for agriculture or horticulture purpose few places it is used also, but again there is a risk associated with that uh, using even it for agriculture purpose directly. So, since the water is in general is not usable in its original state. So, it becomes a burden because something which is not usable you have to find a place to dispose it. Okay. Now, it contains a lot of pollutants in it, it contains pollution it, and in the presence of those various contaminants disposing it to a natural system have its own demerits, there are environmental issues associated with that. Okay. We know that the pollution in our major waterway surface channels, rivers, Ganga, Yamuna all that is primarily because of the wastewater disposal. So, when we cannot use it we have if in its original state and if we have to dispose it, it really becomes a big burden where to dispose it in a sustainable manner. So, that it does not cause harm to environment or uh, our natural system or natural resources. At the same time this water essentially or the waste water what, what is is actually there are some pollutants, there are some contaminants available in it, but they are in a very little quantity. Okay. So, when we talk about various uh, parameters of the waste water, okay, you see that COD, BOD has to be uh, for say 10, uh, 50 milligram per liter, 100 milligram per liter or iron 1 milligram or, or let us say 2 milligram per liter, 3 milligram per liter. So, most of these impurities or most of the contaminants even the sediments, salts okay, uh, how much it is 500 milligram per liter TDS, 1000 milligram per liter TDS let us say even. So, these quantities are in a few milligrams or at max a few grams per liter. Okay. So, we are talking about 1 liter water. Okay. Uh, in 1 liter water the impurities or the scale of impurities is barely a few milligram or at max let us say couple 2 3 grams if you collect uh, take consider it in a collective way. Okay. If you combine or sum all the form of pollution or impurities it may maximum reach to a level of few grams per liter. So, majority of the fraction in that waste water is actually the water, the pure H2O, okay, which has a lot of beneficial uses. Now, we are considering it as a burden because of those pollutants available in it, which are just barely a few grams, okay, few milligrams or few grams, and rest of the mass of the waste water is actually water, and we know what crisis or how much application of water is there and in what the age we are living in, how much water uh, stress we are facing and disposing or considering something as a burden which contains almost 99 percent or even greater than 99 percent water is, uh, is sort of uh, gives us an idea that there is uh, something which is not right and we should look it from a different perspective. So, in that sense the waste water can be considered as a resource also as is being done now. Many people many places 
uh, are considering wastewater nowadays as a resource and therefore trying to reclaim water out of that wastewater and reuse it for some beneficial purposes. So, this course primarily is about to discuss this aspect only that uh, how what is the level of pollution and how we can uh, sort of reclaim the useful component in the wastewater. The most useful component for us in our perspective is water actually. So, how we can reclaim the water out of that wastewater and reuse it for some potentially beneficial purposes. Now, if we see, we talk about what is the wastewater, the other terms in the in this course is essentially the treatment because its course is wastewater treatment and recycling. So, what is wastewater treatment? The wastewater treatment is the processing of wastewater for the removal of these contaminants. As we were discussing just now that wastewater can be considered as a burden or as a resource. So, it is burden because of these pollutants only and if we process this wastewater in such a way that these pollutants can be removed from water or can be at least minimized so that the water can be used for some beneficial purpose that even or even for disposal let us say because we do not want to dispose the wastewater in its original state to our natural resources because uh, that will lead lot of environmental consequences and in order to avoid that even if we are disposing wastewater, we must ensure that the pollutant levels in the wastewater have been substantially reduced so that the environmental effects of that disposal is reduced. So, either for disposal or for any reuse purpose or recycling purpose, it becomes essential to remove the pollutants from the wastewater. And using engineering technologies or engineering approaches for removal of these contaminants or removal of these pollutants from wastewater is called wastewater treatment. So, we treat this wastewater, we process this wastewater in such a fashion or through such a system where the various types of contaminants that are present in the wastewater and there are variety of types of contaminant present in the wastewater. We will discuss that in detail when we go into the uh, section of characteristic of the wastewater in the course. But to begin with, so we essentially want the removal of majority of the harmful contaminants or harmful contents that are present in the wastewater and we achieve this thing through the wastewater treatment. So, wastewater treatment is essentially the processing of wastewater through a system or through some engineering or a technological interventions. So, as the contaminants can be remo removed or uh, sort of reduced from the wastewater and uh, we can look for the subsequent step whether we want to further re recycle this or uh, dispose it of. The other term in the course was recycling, wastewater treatment and recycling. So, we did talk about what is wastewater, we did discuss what is the wastewater treatment. Of course, the further details will be discussed subsequently in the lectures, but we did have an idea of what is the treatment. Now, what is the wastewater recycling? So, we recycling wastewater, recycling is a pretty common term, but recycling normally we use uh, let us say recycling glass bottles, recycling newspaper, recycling tin canes. So, uh, in those sense of waste, recycling is a pretty common thing. We recycle the papers, we recycle the uh, we bottles and uh, various other things plastic many, many a time. So, all those things are generally recycled. Here, we are referring to the recycling of the water or rather wastewater. So, how we achieve wastewater recycling? 
Well, we just discussed that there is something which is a wastewater treatment which can process the wastewater for removal of contaminants from it and once the contaminant is removed, see in our earlier discussion we did see that wastewater generally contains some contaminant and a large chunk of water. Now, if you remove those contaminants from the of uh, using certain treatment process, whatever is remaining is mostly the water without too much of contamination okay, or with minimum contamination or it is better if it is with no contamination. So, that water is has actually been reclaimed from a wastewater because your wastewater traditionally was having significant amount of contamination in it. If you remove those contaminants, so we are able to reclaim water from that wastewater and reusing this reclaimed water or treated wastewater for certain beneficial purpose is generally referred as wastewater recycling. So, wastewater recycling essentially is reusing the treated wastewater. There are two, three terms, different terms. So, there is uh, something which is reuse, reclamation and recycling. Reuse is if we can reuse something with uh, let in wastewater sense let us say. So, the wastewater which is being generated if we are using it say for irrigation purpose or horticulture purpose without any treatment or with very little treatment. So, we are not changing the state of wastewater too much, okay. we are just using this wastewater which has come through our drain for let us say irrigating a field. So, in such a scenario this wastewater is essentially being reused, water which has come which has been used once because wastewater what is wastewater, wastewater is the water which has been used. So, the what wastewater which has been used once is being used for some other application. It may have been used for let us say washing purpose earlier okay, or ba uh, bathing purpose or uh, in the for its application in the kitchen and if we channelize that water put that to a irrigation field. So, it is again being used for a beneficial purpose which is irrigation. So, this kind of applications is generally referred as reuse. Reclamation is a process through which we reclaim water out of wastewater by removing the contaminants through the wastewater treatment. So, that is reclamation. So, reclaimed water is the water which we have reclaimed out of wastewater and recycling is conceptually the use of reclaimed water. So, the water once which we have treated, we want to use that for subsequent purpose. It could be the similar purpose also. Application, the water coming out of household application, if we treat it, purify it and put it again for the similar household application. So, that is what is recycling okay. or it can be used for different application also. So, we take the water, we treat it, purify it and then put it for say industrial uses. Okay. The household sewage, treated household sewage or reclaimed household, reclaimed water from the household sewage, if it is putting it, putting it, we are putting it in some say industrial application, so that is recycling of wastewater. Or if we are augmenting our water supply with that water, that is the recycling of wastewater. So, that is essentially recycling and these are the three different terminologies in that sense. Now, why we should learn wastewater management? Okay. That is the question that one should have before venturing into this course because this course talks about the wastewater treatment and recycling which is essentially the wastewater management in general scale. So, what is the need of discussing or knowing all these things uh, gaining knowledge onto the wastewater management? Well, the whole idea of this course is to provide knowledge information on the approaches or concepts on the transforming the burden into the resource. So, wastewater which we perceive as a 
burden because of the contaminants in it through this proper management of wastewater we can consider or we sh rather we should consider that as a resource and that is what is the prime objective of this uh, course in a way. Now, how we can transform this burden into the resource will be through appropriate treatment, reuse, reclamation and recycling processes right and kind of knowledge needed for this will be engineering and technological approaches because reclamation of the wastewater or the treatment of wastewater will eventually need engineering interventions or technological approaches. So, the different processes for wastewater treatment, engineered process for wastewater treatment. Uh, so, one should have the knowledge of that, that is one aspect which is needed. It also needed social acceptability because if we want to use water or the reclaimed water as a resource, the society should be willing to accept it. As we were just saying that the water can be recycled or can be uh, recycled for the household application also, but people should be willing to accept it. So, that social acceptability is also an important aspect, we will discuss that in detail in the subsequent sessions. Then there has to be financial and economic viability of this recycling approaches ok. It is not that uh, in order to in order to sort of extract the uh, water out of the waste water or the reclaim water out of the waste water we spend so much that the cost of the water that we get is enormously high and then it becomes financially unsustainable or uh, unviable project. So, we should see or we should uh, observe that the process or the approach which is being adopted are financially and economically viable and we should think of environmental sustainability as well. So, all these different knowledges are required and that is why it uh, should be considered as an interdisciplinary subject ok. And uh, if we see what are the various objectives of this course, what do we want to learn or what the attendees of this course will gain out of uh, sort of spending the uh, next 12 weeks time with us is we will try to develop that understanding on the value of the wastewater as a resource. The idea is to recognize the various available technologies for wastewater treatment, the conventional process that are being used and some advanced processes ok, which can be used for uh, wastewater reclamation or uh, wastewater treatment. So, gaining the knowledge onto this major tools and approaches for wastewater treatment is one of the core objectives. Then there has to be awareness has to be developed on the modern age issues and challenges in the wastewater treatment and of course, on recycling and the overall gaining knowledge onto the tools and technologies suitable for wastewater reclamation and recycling. So, these are the primary objectives learning objectives of this course and what is going to be covered in this course, although uh, the information is available on the course uh, web page. However, uh, just to quickly brief you, we will talk about the wastewater generation and its characteristics in the uh, subsequent sessions. We will talk about the natural attenuation of pollutants. So, when the pollutants are released in the nature, there is uh, some self attenuating ability of nature itself with to deal with these pollutants. So, how that natural attenuation of the pollutants works, then what are the general treatment philosophies for wastewater, what are the specific treatment units and processes. We will also talk about the issues and challenges with the conventional pro treatment process which are being used because uh, we see that wastewater treatment say for say has been being done since several decades now. But still even in those cities which have the wastewater treatment facilities, the outcome is not meeting to the uh, sort of uh, desired conditions.
So, what are the major issues and challenges will also be discussed. Then we will also cover the various advanced treatment process, so which are uh, often overlooked in the conventional treatment uh, systems and that results in the variety of issues and challenges with the quality of the water that comes out of those treatment systems. So, how to deal with that, what are the available advanced treatment systems for that. We will talk about the concept of recycling, what are the various recycling requirement in terms of regulatory requirement or in terms of uh, technological availabilities, okay. what is the scope of the uh, recycling wastewater, so uh, the scope and demand uh, in this sector and we will uh, conclude this course basically with uh, idea on how to select appropriate technologies because once we are uh, into the course you will realize that there are variety of systems or variety of treatment processes are available and uh, a general treatment system will not use all of these. So, few specific processes or the best technology should be adopted. Now, the best technology also may vary condition to condition. So, what is the characteristic of the input waste or what is the funds available, what is the space available. So, based on all these various criteria, how we can select the appropriate technology and how we can sort of uh, conduct decision making out of this. So, uh, out of the wastewater uh, treatment, water reclamation out of the wastewater and wastewater recycling. So, we will conclude uh, on that lines for, uh, towards the end of this course. So, this all will be covered in the uh, next 12 week including this of course and uh, subsequently we will move from the basic introductory part about the characteristic generation towards the treatment aspects, recycling requirements, approaches, scope and demands and and a decision making kind of uh, framework. So, uh, this is this was about the course which we are going to uh, discuss through the uh, next 12 weeks and uh, so we conclude this session here only and in subsequent sessions one by one we will take up all these uh, specific content of the course and we will have elaborated discussions on those sections. Thank you.